There's always something to do here in Maryland. It's indeed impossible to say that there's nothing to do here. You know, planning a day's vacation and seeking for exciting things to do. Well, today I'm going to discuss the top 10 best free things to do here in Maryland with you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, playing, and many other things here in Maryland or Washington, D.C., then make sure you hit that subscribe button right below. Click the little bell so you're notified every single time we do a video. And if you're thinking about moving, relocating, or coming here to stay, make sure to give me a call, shoot me an email, or send me a text. Number 10, the awakening at National Harbor. There's no chance of waking this sleeping giant, but there's a high probability of getting an amazing photo. The Awakening is a 15 foot high multi-piece sculpture of a bearded giant bursting from the ground. You know, for 30 years the National Park Service had to play the giant in Washington DC. Now he makes his home on the beach at National Harbor and that doesn't take into account everything else you can do while you're there at the National Harbor. Number nine, Patuxent River Naval Air Museum. A fantastic museum to visit if you want to get up close with a variety of planes. The Aviation Museum is devoted to the scientific and technical history of the U.S. naval aviation research, development, testing, and assessment. And it also has a museum shop and a collection of more than 25 aircraft. Throughout the year, the museum offers a range of activities. It is compact in size, yet brimming with interesting history and equipment to see and learn about. Additionally, they have a great gift store. And if you're a military or history enthusiast, this is an excellent location to spend several hours. If you're looking to get out of the house and like aircraft, I suggest spending an hour or two here. Number eight, Anne-Marie Sculpture Gardens and Art Center. Situated in the Pistrex Solomons, Maryland, at the confluence of the Patuxent and Chesapeake River. The entry to this top of the world environment is marked with a humorous six ton ceramic gate. To so take a stroll around the three acre sculpture garden, which features 3D work of art created using a variety of materials. The arts building, which has received many awards, has a rotating exhibition space, a gift store, and a sunny terrace. Don't forget check their schedule for rotating exhibitions festivals family events and programs and to learn more about this unique space where art and nature meet Number seven, Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Park. 1971, the national park was created. Historically, this byway was used to carry coal, lumber, and crop. So today, it is an ideal location for hiking, biking, and boat trips, as well as just enjoying the scenery. The pathway spans the length of the canal, offering many opportunities. Due to the area's historical significance, there are also many attractions around several major canal locations. Throughout the summer, both the Great Falls Tavern, Visitor Center and the Williamsport Visitor Center offer boat tours. But keep an eye out for the lock house and other historic buildings along the way. We're all aware that seeing a piece of history may be a life-changing event. Number six, Ego Alley. Put on your walking shoes and enjoy a stroll around downtown Annapolis historic streets. These neighborhoods are filled with charm. With brick paved lanes and old houses, the marina is dubbed Ego Alley because of the presence of several colossal boats. These boats are actually often decked up in Christmas decorations over the holidays and are quite a sight to see. You better check this place out. You won't regret it. Number five, Baltimore's Free Art Museum. What could be better than a single world class museum that is completely free? Well, two perhaps. And that's precisely what you will discover in Baltimore since both the Walter Art Museum and the Baltimore Museum of Art provide free entry. The BMA is home to the world's renowned home collection which includes works by Matisse, Picasso and Degas. The Walter's globally famous collections of art spans the globe and includes one of the world's greatest collection of Asian Egyptian art and artifacts. Located in Baltimore's Mount Vernon district, visitors may relax on a park bench just outside the Walter's Museum. Number four, Mallows Bay, the Ghost Fleet. It's a diverse group of 200 known shipwrecks. NOAA has classified the area as a national marine sanctuary. Grab a kayak and a GoPro and go out to to explore Mallows Bay Ghost Fleet. This stunningly breathtaking scene is one of the many that may be seen exclusively in Maryland. One of the biggest ship graveyards in the entire United States. You'll discover shipwrecks going all the way back to World War One, and some even older. Number three, Washington County Museum of Fine Art. It's a strong community anchor enhancing culture opportunities, destination tourism, civic engagement, and economic vitality. Established in 1931 and dedicated to 
collecting, preserving, and interpreting works of art for citizens from four state regions and national and international visitors. The Washington County Museum of Fine Arts is accredited by the American Alliance of Museums. The museum is a nationally recognized art collection, changing notable exhibitions, and numerous lively programs, educational offerings, and concerts. There is something for everyone here. The museum's art collection includes over 6,500 works of art in the field of American art, world cultures, and art of the region. Changing exhibitions bring works of art from national and international sources to the region along with exhibitions recognizing regional artists. And once done visiting the museum, take a walk through the city park. It is actually mandatory. Number two, Assateague Island National Seashore. Assateague is a bare island off the coast of Maryland. The tranquil beaches of Assateague Island are just a short distance from the hustle and bustle of Ocean City. This deserted island is split in two sections, one of which is a state park and the other of which is a national seashore of the United States. The stunning island is most renowned for its wild ponies, which provide an incredible sight as they run down the shoreline sand of the beaches there. There is no lack of activities in this fascinating national park from camping to kayaking to riding and swimming is permitted on the majority of the island's beaches and there are lifeguards stationed at the most popular location. Great experience that allows you to appreciate the scenery. Number one is Swallow Falls State Park. Outside of Oakland, Maryland is Swallow Hills State Park. The Yahoo Fajin River runs directly through the park's boundaries, producing many breathtaking rapids and gorges. The murky stream falls a 54-foot waterfall with a big splash. It's a highlight of every visit to Swallow Falls State Park. A short one-mile walk leads you to the falls, passing past magnificent hemlock trees along the way, different hiking levels for hikers with little to no hiking experience to experience hikers. If you're up for a lengthier, more difficult track, you may walk from Swallow Falls to Harrington Manor State Park, a well-designated trail that is a little more than five miles in length. Now that I've discussed the top 10 free attractions in Maryland, I'd like to encourage you to leave a comment below indicating, you know, how many of these 10 free attractions you've seen personally, which ones have you visited, and which one's your favorite. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching, and if there's anything you guys think I forgot to include that somebody should know before moving to Maryland, please leave it down in the comment section right there. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And if you found this video useful, check this video out to my left right there. That's it for now. See you at the next video.